Hello and welcome back to Cryptarch. Last time we had our first journey into the new update, which includes a terrible creature of terrible sorts. And we have to choose a new Hulk to go into. This is the one with the artifact, which is to keep the repair systems. I really don't think that's going to be a thing, quite frankly. Um, I can't see that actually happening. That's, that's terrible. Um, potentially we can choose something that's not as terrible as that. Like, I don't know. This? Keep door lock system, don't use repair kits, keep three systems? That's actually some pretty easy bonus objectives there. I mean, it's not the most costly vessel that we could choose. This one's a bit more expensive. It's keep three systems, load out max 100k and no supply pods. Can we do 100k? I feel like it would be hard, but on a ship like this, I think we can manage it. Because there's a bunch of um, drone creation factories, which usually means that when you go in, there aren't a ton of drones to begin with. Which means we can pretty easily get into those drone creation areas and take them down. So I feel like we can go for this one, do a 100k loadout max. And um, I guess we have to keep three systems. I'm not certain we'll be keeping three systems. We'll have to see how that one works out. Um... I can't quite remember. There was like, what was there? Eight systems total. So we can only take out five of them. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, there's eight systems total. We have to take out the um, alarm, the shield, and the brain, which is three down already. And then we can take out, I guess, just two of the drone factories. That's a Jackal Bomber, Bomber Jackal, Bomber Jackal. Those aren't terrible. That's actually not the worst things that could show up. So yeah, I guess we'll go like that. We'll take out two of the drone factories and we'll go for the um, core related enemies. In the meantime, we have to reduce our total cost. Um, we basically don't use the mines, so there's no real reason to bring that in. Um, slime Mortar. We can potentially bring significantly less ammunition for that. Quite frankly, I don't use it all that much. Um, so it's not really a big deal if we don't bring a ton of that. We'll cut down on the flame just a bit. We have five slime mortars. Um, 2,250 2, flame ammunition. We can't use any supply pods, but that should be fine, I think. We still have the saw, which is a pretty darn good weapon. And I think we got this under control. So our entry point is going to be probably right here. We're going to enter through here, engage this bomber, take out this drone system, move in, take out whatever's in this area, take out this drone factory. Potentially we can pick up um, this tech and a few keys as well, just to make life a bit easier. And from there, we can just engage what remains. We can go directly for the alarm system and then potentially double back to the shield. At which point, we are basically scot-free for taking out the brain itself. That sounds like a great plan. That is a brilliant plan. I think this is going to be easy. I mean, I probably shouldn't say that because that's usually when things go downhill for us. Is when I say that something's going to be easy. So, I mean, I've probably just doomed us, but you know how it works. Hello, Drone Creation Station. Get out of my face, Drone Creation Station. You're done for. You're done for. Oh, we missed that shot. Okay, that's one Drone Creation Station down. We're going for the next one. Taking down, of course, anything we see along the way. We should be limiting our ammunition use as much as possible. As it does just so happen that we can't get supply pods. And we have a limited quantity of ammunition to begin with. That's the second drone factory down. I guess we'll head this way because I, I headed this way anyway. I guess that's going to be a thing. And we're going to engage the shield system next. Ooh, that was close. That was close. I guess we're going to take down these guys first, though. As they are being a bit of pricks over here. Okay. We got a key right here. We did miss the um, actual repair, the uh, tech technology things. We kind of missed those, which is not the ideal situation. We'll have to go back and pick those up. But this should be the shield. Oh, are you serious? Get out of here. 
You know, trip the alarms on me. Get your face out of here. Who do you think you are? Some sort of alarm drone? Not cool, mate. Not cool. All of your kind is now doomed because you did that one action. Luckily, there really doesn't seem to be very many drones in the entire ship to begin with, so, you know. I mean, it's not the end of the world that we've tripped the alarms because there's not much to actually kill us out here. Hello. I hope you don't mind. I'm going for the tech first, then I'm going to kill you. I'm sure it was very sad about the fact that I considered a technology more important than killing it. Alarm system down. That's pretty easy. At this point, we've basically done it. That was, that was pretty easy. We should go around and pick up some of these techs since we have so much time left. And these techs could come in handy in the future. Um, there's just a few drones between us and the uh, actual brain. I mean, in saying that, there's also still a drone factory which is working on building new drones. Which is, I don't think, the end of the world as... Um, I mean, there's very few to begin with, and we're going to work quickly enough that probably not too many will show up. I mean, cross your fingers. There could be like a family reunion of drones. Everyone gets around the table, has a nice meal, and then strictly comes out to like kill our face, which I feel like is at once a terrible thing for them to do. But also, it's basically a family tradition for these things to try to kill our face. So, I mean, I'm not going to take that from them. I don't like it, but I'm still not going to take it from them. That is a good amount of technology we've picked up, actually. I don't know if any of it was really all that good, but, I mean, there you go. That was a ridiculously short Hulk. And a really easy Hulk, too. That was really nice. I feel good about that. Oh, uh, yeah, it was, mate. Not a problem, Mr. Contractor. It's perfectly fine. So we've gotten all of the bonus objectives. Luckily, not setting off the alarm was not one of the bonus objectives, which is always a nice thing. Okay, so we just had a small crash. That's the first time I've actually had a crash with Cryptarch while it was playing. There's been a few times when it's crashed on load up, but I mean, that's not the end of the world. Very interesting. I do not question the uh, stability of Cryptarch all that much, but you know, that's just a thing to keep in mind. Early access games like this, occasionally you'll get a few crashes can't judge it too much. I can judge it a little bit, though. I'm a judging person. Anyway, uh, we're probably going to go into this Hulk with the uh, same system we had for last time, because this is a sub 100k loadout. Now, we have the issue of the double repair systems. We've got one here, and we've got one here. So, what we're probably going to have to do is... Um, clear out all of the enemies between these two, pick up a key to actually get into that repair system, which we can pick up um, here. I guess we'll pick up this one. That'll be fine. Spike dog? Well, where was the spike dog? What's a spike dog? Do we know what a spike dog is? Is that going to be something terrible? I don't like terrible things anyway. Okay, get over it. Um, we're going to engage the... Um, repair systems first and foremost. We're going to take this one out and then we're going to have to book it over to here to take this one out. We do destroy systems pretty quickly, so I think we can deal with that so long as there's not too much opposition between us. So let's just go for it. We've got the three max hull, which is the ideal situation. It's both a bonus objective and the artifact itself. We do still have to move quickly because there is a... Um, a few drone creation bays in this ship. At least one, I think. Yeah, there's three. One's a juggernaut creation, which is never good. But here we go. In we go. You're all done for, mate. Get out of my face. Who do you think you are? So we've got all those guys under control. This guy's going down next. Come on. Okay. I think we got this. I think we got this. These guys are no match for us. Okay. So it's just going to be a bit of a skirmish at this point because we need to clear the area. We have to make a fast movement from one repair bay to the next if we're going to actually succeed at this mission, which does require a clean slate overall. 
We don't have any explosives, which I'm kind of sad about right now because explosives would actually be quite nice at this moment. But, you know, you got to go in with what you started with, and what we started with was not explosives. Let's take out this alarm system. We do not want to set off the alarms in this Hulk. There's already a large quantity of um, drones in the area. We have no need of bringing any more into the situation. Looks like that drone bay already considered throwing a few minnows at us. It's never a good situation. Get out of here, minnows. I mean, you're not really minnows anymore. You're some sort of terrible, like, tentacle creature, which I do not like. I don't like tentacle creatures. Repair siphon. I have no clue what a repair siphon is, but I'm pretty sure it's a good thing because it says repair on it. And that's usually a good sign. You're going down next, boy. Boy. Ah. Man, there's a lot of things out here right now. Everything wants a piece of us. Don't want a piece of me. I only have so many pieces. They do not go around. Thank you. Oh, that's a juggernaut there. We just got hit from the side. Oh, this is not going well for us, is it? Come on. You got to go down at some point. This, that guy's down. Those guys are the worst. Outside of, of course, the juggernauts, which are actually legitimately the worst. Uh, if we can clear out this entire group of enemies, then we have a pretty good chance of actually being able to execute this mission, as this is the majority of enemies that are in the AO right now. That's a juggernaut down. That is a rare sight to behold. Ah. Uh, you! Cut it out! I'm not having any of this! I'm chasing this man down. You're dead. That's it. I think, can we use supply pods? I don't know if we can use supply pods or not. I didn't check. Um, repair drone down. We do have a key, I believe. We don't have a key! Oh, my word! That is not a good situation. I don't like that. I was really betting on having a key there. That was going to be really nice. We were in the clear. You, get your face out of here. These guys are the worst. It's their disgusting shield, which is just so friggin' powerful. It's quite effective. I have to admit, in the very least, they are powerful combatants. And I guess that's their actual purpose in life, so they are succeeding in their purpose. Which is one thing. It's not a great thing for us, as we are currently on the verge of absolute death. I mean, I will say, in the fact that we are on the verge of absolute death, we have been fighting like a freaking champ right now. And this has been some pretty impressive combat as of yet. If I do say so myself, which of course I do, because I just did. And I mean, that's an irrefutable fact at this point. I did in fact say that we were quite doing some quite nice combat here. Oh, I'm not sure how long we can actually keep this up though. As ow. Those drone creation bays are probably sending a bunch of drones our way at this point. It's not a good situation for us. Freaking juggernauts. They can go through walls? That's absurd. That is absurd. Take some fire, you fools! That didn't hit anything. I mean, that was just terrible. We need to head down over to the repair supply pod, pick up a bit of reparations there. And here we go. We are in it to win it. We just lost basically all of the health we just got back. You get out of here. I'm having none of these repair things. Oh man, there's just too much firepower for me to actually throw out attacks and at the same time try to stay alive with the nice shield. Because we can't fight and have the shield up at the same time. Where's that repair pod down here? Repair pod, thank you very much. You guys are done for. This is over, Juggernaut. I ain't having any of this. Oh, this is a Herculean effort. A seriously serious effort. Okay, I think we've taken down the vast majority of enemies between us and the two repair pods, which is great because now it's the repair systems that are going down. We're going to have to head to the other one real quick. Come on, come on. We don't have forever. Second repair pod. It's going down at this point. We should basically maintain flamethrower fire. 
because it really does deal with these tentacle creatures. Okay, okay. Let's just, uh, let's just calm down for a second. <sighs> okay. That is, um... Okay, supply pods was one of our secondary objectives. That's unfortunate. But we have taken out the two repair systems. Next thing we should do is take out the two uh, drone factories, which are here and here. Um, at which point we can re-engage the alarm systems, probably leave the Hulk entirely to get out there. And take down the actual systems that are running the core itself. At which point we can enter the Hulk through there and engage the core directly, which is going to be perfect. We're going to head through the Hulk itself to try to get to the actual drone creation bays because, I mean, there's not too much resistance in the area because we already, like, fought all of the resistance in the area, which was, once again, Herculean effort to take all of that stuff down. I will exploit that to no end. Okay, that's down. We are running out of ammunition, which is unfortunate. We've only got 500 flame ammo left, which actually isn't all that much. Looks like they are, in fact, bringing in some additional dr drones into the area. Oh, no. No, we can't go down like this. I will not go down like this. Oh, we went down like that. It was overly ambitious. We should have taken a step back, slowed down, tried to engage in a more uniform manner. We could have gotten, gone back, gotten some ammo. That would have probably helped. Oh, I mean, we did a good job in there. We definitely fought some pretty solid fights. If we hadn't only had three health, we probably would have survived significantly longer and potentially taken down the Hulk. But, you know, that's just the kind of kind of the situation of the thing. We did our best, it has to be said. Anyway, for now, that will bring us to the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, we'll have to engage a whole new Hulk. Hopefully, this time, we won't, you know, die, die a terrible death, but... Yeah, it's just, just a thing. I mean, it's arguable. Sometimes we die terrible deaths, sometimes we don't. You know, that's just how life goes. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching, and of course, as always, enjoy the rest of your day.